What we have here is conference cannibalism at its finest. Everybody's in a survival mode, they're trying to scramble. The Big 12 has to get together and decide, is this it? Are we dead? Is it over? The withdrawal of Nebraska and, and Colorado reveals real flaws. And the timing just wasn't ideal uh, to make the move. Will we ever have a chance to go to the SEC again? University President Bill Powers announcing the deal has been reached with ESPN for a 24-hour Longhorn Network. Well, the bomb went off. <laughs> That's what happened next. There is uncertainty about the Longhorn Network. Oh, wait a minute. So now Texas is going to show high school games? If there's a player Texas wants, the Longhorn Network will go televise his high school game. And then there was discussion of having a conference game on LHA. And if you're Texas A&M, that's got to scare the heck out of you. And here's BB, who's trying to be the leader of this conference. So he was just kind of left dangling like a puppet. He wasn't uncertain about whether the conference was going to be together. He was uncertain about what the Longhorn Network meant. I was there and he was talking about the uncertainty of the conference, for sure. That's not the way I, I was portrayed to me. Today, the Texas A&M president was given permission to look into conference realignment. Doesn't anybody stop? And look at the devastation it brings on the other schools in the conference. Everybody comes to their senses before we this thing implodes. Were we excited about the possibility of Texas a and The answer was yes. Were all the hurdles cleared? No. Texas a and should stay exactly where they are in the Big 12 Conference. The outside world was clearly beating us up. You know, you talk collapse against Oklahoma State, collapse against Arkansas. You know, we were a joke, a laughing stock. We'd never be able to compete. Follow the money. That's what drives your athletic program. They make the money. If they go to the SEC, they're going to be at the bottom of the SEC West Conference. Maybe one step ahead of Ole Miss. The last time Texas A&M defeated a team from the SEC Conference, 1995.